If what you did yesterday was big, that means you haven't done anything today. Lou Holtz, New York John, uh, Jets. Powerful, powerful quote of people living in the past. And what day than today to be appropriate with an NFL quote. Today being the first day of football season. What happened last year, and we hear this, what, what these players did last year, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your stats were. It doesn't matter what team you played for. It doesn't matter if you won the Super Bowl. Guess what? Back at it again. So what we do today is the only thing that matters. If you're holding on to what you did, you know, a glorified thing that you did 10 years ago, well, unfortunately, that means you haven't done anything in 10 years then. I mean, that's what, it, that's what this quote absolutely means. It means nothing else. You know, we, we also see uh, uh, personalities on TV. Uh, Mary with Children was one of them that really just absolutely nailed this one on the head. Uh, and again, another football thing. So Ted Bundy was the star quarterback or whatever he was of the, uh, I can't remember his team, but it was in high school. It was like, you're a shoe salesman, but your family, you're miserable. And the last big thing that you did was play high school football. How many of you have a story like that, that, that? That's what you go back to. You go back to your glory years in high school. You go back to something else. And we, we kind of uh, dwell on the past. We, how many, almost are forced to? Or is that what we're calling it now? Um, and it's always great to relive things, but reliving is not doing it today. How great are you today? What are you doing today? Yeah, I used to have a boss. I hated his guts. Name Sean. Um, absolutely hated his guts, but this is for different reasons. But he did say to me the one time because at the time I was in sales. So I said, yo, for the last like six months, like, come on, man. Like, I've I've done this, I've done that, I've done He's like, what'd you do this month for me? None of that matters. He's like, what'd you do this month? He's like, everybody's on the chopping block this month. What did you do for me? I was like, what? What? Wait a second. <laughs> Hands up. I, I've done a lot. Like, But he didn't care. This was the month that he was firing everybody. This was the month that he was doing performance reviews. This particular month, I was bottom of the barrel. I looked like I shouldn't even be working for the company. And the company was pretty big. You know, corporate meetings, uh, sales calls, group calls. And this was 10 years ago when we were doing mobile, you know, conference calls. It was very interesting um, to be involved in that back then when it was just kind of getting, you know, steamed. But that's what was said to me by Sean. It was, a, I, I was, a, I almost was offended. I mean, there was five days left in the month and he said something like that to me. And basically how I took it was, I'm not giving him the best that I could give him. I'm not doing what I need to do for him so that he doesn't have to answer to his bosses. See, I never looked at it when I was working there, but it was after years and years of doing different things that I looked at it that way. He relied on me to do what I needed to do, and he never annoyed me. I mean, never. He never annoyed me. And then this one day, he wants to come annoy me, and rightfully so, because it wasn't just me at the time. Uh, the economy was going and doing what the economy was doing. Everybody was getting tight with their budget. You know, it was weird things. Weird things were going on, but it didn't matter. These external facts, the external things don't matter when it comes to whatever you're doing. Are you giving it 100%? And I wasn't. I wasn't giving him 100%. And he knew I wasn't giving him 100% because I had money in the bank. I went on vacation. I was getting cushy. I put 30 pounds on. He could see I'm no longer that hungry individual that he hired six months prior that was willing to push the other people out of the way so I didn't have to eat a cheese sandwich for lunch. Like, yeah, that's that's the difference. Because we're hungry when we start doing it. Um, and it's really kind of, when we take quotes like this, at least how I take quotes like this, how does this reflect onto you and your life? So when you hear that quote, going back over that quote, you know, if, if you're bringing up what you did yesterday, that means you've done nothing great today. You know, or you're saying how great you were yesterday and you've done nothing great today. I mean, how does that really apply to you? Are, are you talking about one month performance because that's how your business is set up? Is, is it not business? Is it sports? Are you um, 
Are you no longer, you know, involved in sports and at one point you were and there's no physical activity whatsoever. You were just unable to even run a mile. I actually, you want to, so somebody else I was talking to, because somebody brought it up to me when I started gaining weight and getting it out of control with certain things. So I bring it up to somebody else and I did tell him this, watch this one, right? Military guy, I think I've told you this before. I actually brought it up to him again about his weight and he just gave me a million excuses. And I was like, all right, well, cool. I mean, hey, listen, we all have excuses, but I, this is what I asked him. I said, how fast can you run a mile? He just kind of looked at me and I was like, bro, you got in the military. How long ago? You were able to run three miles in 16 minutes. Very, very fast for my, or 18, maybe 18, whatever it was. But another one that was just kind of like, what, you know, what did you do yesterday? Can you still do that today? Can you still run that same time? Would you be able to walk a mile? <laughs> I mean, one in that time. So, you know, you go from one extreme to the other. And that's kind of that's kind of how our lives are, and uh, it's it's something that you don't ever want to have a regret. You definitely do not want to have a regret with any of this stuff. Saying that you didn't give your hundred percent, or you see the guy down the road and you're like, whoa, wait, whoa, how is he? And I'm whoa, and something doesn't make sense there. So always, always when you wake up today, you got to forget what you did yesterday. Today's a new day. If you were judged on your performance today, would you keep your job? Would your family want you to be part of the family? Would you be a respected member of your family? How about in your community? Would your neighbors look at you today? Just off of what you did today. Because today, you didn't take your trash can in when trash was already collected. You just left it out there for the night. I'll get it tomorrow. Think about little things, little tiny things like that. And all those little tiny things is what you're based off of and how other people view you. And when you let one tiny thing slip, you let another tiny thing slip. Oh, I've done it 50 weeks I've done it. I don't want to do it this week. Well, what if you're only being judged this week? What if you're only being judged today? Stay frosty. And um, just relate this to yourself. If you can't relate it to yourself, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe you are doing everything you need to be doing in your life and more. And that's fine. That's good. But just use it as motivation to keep you going then. Going on the path that you're going. Everything's great. It's going to keep pushing me to the next level. <laughs>